Hello, this is Jighead TV, and today we are talking about Jigheads, our own production of Jigheads, and what kind of Jigheads and where to use, and uh, with what kind of soft dates. So we're gonna start from our ultra light uh, and light section. There is you go to light ones and the uh, bigger fish hunting uh, section of uh, jiggy heads they are all used for a different type of fishing and i will try to explain as much as possible which jig heads and where to use them and in what kind of situation and with what kind of soft baits first we're going to talk about our bullet jig heads then we will go to die hard jig heads and our pelagic hunter jig heads required for catching bigger fish so let's start by talking about uh, our ultralight and light type of jig heads as you see we have uh, two different uh, types of bullet jig heads we call them bullet because they sh shaped they are shaped as a bullet this kind of jig heads are uh, made so they could be used in top water mid water and at the bottom fishing and they have with two type uh, two type of different hooks uh, which is uh, number four and number two the number two is bigger one number four is the smaller one number uh, four is used for uh, up to two inch and number two is used up to two and a half inch type of uh, soft baits and the action of this jig head will be different because you see the shape of the head and it's gonna just go through the water in the mid water it's gonna play whatever the action you make so it's gonna make some drastic drastic movements and in the bottom what in the at the bottom it's gonna go down and fall down you know like a bullet very fast usually it's very nice to use with a smaller uh, worms or smaller uh, fish type uh, you know paddle tails but at the same time it works well really well with a different type of crustaceans so for example let's say uh, what kind of soft baits we can use for this kind of uh, jig heads so we have here as an example uh, jig head uh, the soft baits which are diff in different shapes i wanted to show you different shape of uh, soft baits and this one is like a stick type this is the crustaceans this is the pedal tail and this is the grub so each one will, will work perfectly so for example we have here 1.6 inch 1.6 inch 2 inch 2.2 inch and this one is 2 inch also but 2 inch when you like for example let's see let's open up this one the when it says it two inch it's this soft bit actually bigger than two inch because the only the body is two inch not uh, taking the grub into consideration so this is actually you know if you take the whole body it's more than two inch but because your hook is gonna fit in here so for example let's say we're gonna take number two hook here and it's gonna fit perfectly on the body of this uh, soft bit just like so and this is going to be your uh, rigged jig head with a soft bait and that's basically very simple way of rigging it and it will work perfectly so this one I would suggest to play up to the mid water like with uh, two three cranks you f raise it up from the bottom 
uh, towards the mid water and then let it fall usually on the falls trivalis bite on the falls the fish like uh, emperors and uh, any other type of like groupers jacks uh, they will bite mostly from uh, when you start raising it from the bottom so a perfect way and the main thing of this uh, soft of uh, this jig heads what we produced here we used a softer hooks here on the on these jig heads and this uh, softer hooks for example if you get stuck in the rocks what happens if you start putting in constant pressure to retrieve the hook first of course you try different uh, ways you know to remove the hook from the stone but if happens that it's it got stuck really nicely you know it hooked on something then you put a constant pressure and what happens this hook will have a chance to open because it's a bit soft i don't know if you can see here it's a bit soft so with a constant pressure it will just open up a bit it has enough power to hold the fish but uh, when you put keep putting a constant pressure it will open up a bit which will uh, give you a bigger chance of releasing the hook from the stone and then once you got it out you just take the pliers and return the hook into the main position as it was and it will be really good to play in between the stones and for example of course if you cast this a bit further you start playing on the bottom but once you start getting into the rocky area uh, the good thing about this, uh, the, the bullet head gives a nice uh, fish type action, so you just keep playing above the rocks and without letting it to fall. So let's see, for example, this is hook number four, and let's see it on the example of this crustacean. It's called uh, Nimble, 1.6 inch. So very effective for different type of emperors and uh, sea breams and uh, groupers so we just put it from the back yeah like that and that's it you know the your uh, jig head is rigged and it's ready for the action and it will be you know this small small uh, items you know the flappers they'll make some uh, swimming movement this uh, mustache i will say for the crab will make some additional activity worm type activity on the bottom which attracts fish a lot at the same time for example uh, for uh, different kind of paddle tails uh, what you can do when you're hunting group is groupers for example there is a you could uh, rig it in two ways mm, first of all of course the standard way you measure it and you just put all the way inside all the way inside and just remove the hook and it's rigged but you can do one more manipulation which is uh, to hide the hook if you don't have for example offset hooks but you want to hide your main hook here uh, so what you will do, you will just put tip of the hook here in the beginning of the soft bait. You will let it go all the way on the hook itself and then just push it a bit inside like that. So that will make a bit different type of action and a bit different way of playing so even if the your uh, jig head is gonna fall your soft bait is gonna be in this kind of position so attracting fish additionally as if the fish is feeding from the bottom so if you can see here the fish is feeding from the bottom it's in a stand-up position and the tail is gonna play and at the same time hook is hidden but if the fish bites the hook comes out and the fish is hooked so it's very simple and very easy for that 
So let's try to rig additional, like for example, if I say I have here two inch soft bait, this is uh, effective for many small pelagic fish and uh, effective for any type of different fish, with uh, especially with uh, this playing tail. See, what happens here for its two inch soft bait, I can put either hook the smallest hook which is number four here at the same time there is a possibility of hooking putting the hook number two here of course it's gonna be you know much more along the body so what you can do here it's not to push it all the way to the end of the hook like so and you have a soft bait rigged and it's gonna be just staying on the hook as it requires the but you don't complete it because if you start like for example you finished your hooks number four that's not a big issue because you have hook numbers two and uh, I mean this much of the gap is not gonna make a big difference the soft bait is gonna work it's gonna do its job and uh, what we also thought about when we were producing these hooks is uh, uh, this additional spring made out of metal, if you can see it. And this spring is made to hold the soft bait as much as possible here, so it doesn't slip all the way very fast. And sometimes when you get bites, you see your soft bait comes out like this. This is a good example of situation that you had a nice bite, but uh, you didn't hook it. So for you, it's just easy. Just put it back and it's not gonna make, it's gonna stay again, normally in the hook. And sometimes, you know, people say that, oh, the, so if you remove the soft bait once, it's not, it's not, you cannot fish it with it anymore. No, you still can fish with it. If, for example, you remove the soft bait or it was removed by a fish and there is some something ripped or something like that. So the easy way is just try to rig it, but in a different way that you rigged before. So it stays on the newer part of the rubber. Uh, again, it's going to stay easily and we'll be catching more fish again and again so this is basically a small explanation about ultralight uh, the weights are coming in uh, 3 5 8 and 12 gram usually 3 5 are used uh, among the rocks not very long casts on or you can make a really long cast with a 0 0.6 uh, pe 0 0.8 pe 12 grams are made for uh, trying to make a longer distance casts and if there is a current uh, so you can play much more easily and feel more sensitivity on that but don't forget one main thing is the longer your soft bait falls the bigger chance of catching fish so try always to go for example if you come to this location and you start casting eight gram and you you can feel the eight gram on your hand you know very easily try to go down less uh, because the less weight the more nicer action the soft bait is gonna have and the more chances of catching and uh, attracting the fish when you have a heavier weight the less chances of attracting fish because the soft bait is going to move very very fast and the fish doesn't have a chance to to check what's going on with it and uh, you will just keep missing the fish in front of the i mean it's like the soft bait is going to play very fast in front of the fish but they're not going to attack it so the slower it goes the more chances of catching a fish and now let's talk about our bigger jig heads. Now we're gonna talk about uh, different type of jig heads which are called die hard jig heads. 
these jig heads are made uh, to catch bigger fish with uh, stronger hooks and they could be used both for fishing from the boat and fishing from the shore. They are used to make a uh, longer distance cast and to penetrate different areas of the water column but m mostly fishing from the bottom especially with these ones like 21, 24, 23, 33 grams they can cast them uh, for a very long distance and try to find the bigger fish from uh, far far locations I use them a lot in uh, Fujera areas and I use them uh, a lot in uh, Dubai also and uh, in Abu Dhabi for trying to cast as much as possible as, as much as I could to check uh, fish keep checking the fish from the long distances and at the same time I use them from the boat uh, especially the hooks for zero they are bigger hooks because I can catch bigger fish with this and catch really big emperors, really big groupies with this kind of uh, jig heads. So the, the, to see here the difference, here you can see the difference between 4-0 and uh, this is 4 this is four zero and this is 2-0 hook. Uh, it's a bit smaller than 2-0 hook. So this used for difference for the smaller soft baits starting from two and a half inch up to three and a half inch approximately and this one uh, goes from three inch up to four or five inch uh, soft baits you can use them and fishing in the rocks uh, I would suggest uh, with these soft baits not to drop them all the way to the bottom when you're fishing near the rocks but for example, if you have a bigger fish around the area like groupers or something and you can use the smaller uh, sizes, 6, 8 gram, 12 gram and just slowly retrieve near the rocks. But if you're casting from a long distance, then you can use, uh, you know, drop them all the way to the bottom. The rigging method is the same. Is uh, used for different for for example paddle tails grubs the crustaceans the worms or the minnow type you know the stick type uh, soft baits this for example one of the very effective uh, soft baits for queen fish this one is good for uh, kings and uh, groupers this one is catching most of the fish this is very effective for uh, emperors, for jacks and uh, for groupers and the worm type is catching absolutely everything uh, starting from a ribbon fish and uh, different different type of fish <coughs> each soft bait has a different uh, ideas for example let's say this is a 5 inch soft bait this is 4 inch soft bait this is also 4 inch soft bait this is 3 inch approximately with the, the whole body length it's around four inch this one is also four inch but the main body part where you can put your hook is less than uh, four inch so it's approximately two inch so of course for this kind of situations we would use a smaller hook the two zero hook and it's rig very easily so you just go along all the body you get the hook out and this is your rigged die hard jig with the Polaris. This is 4 inch Polaris, 100 millimeter. But the working distance for the hook itself is only 2 inch, which exactly fits the hooks of die hard 2.0 jig head. Similar, for example, for this crustacean, I could use both bigger one and smaller one on the boat i would use the bigger size of the jig head and on the shore i would use the smaller version so i have less chances of getting hooked and in a similar way for example if you use the smaller one it will come out on the half of the body and if you use the bigger one it will come out 
on the most part of the body. So it depends where are you fishing and then depends on the size of your soft baits. You could use different different type of, uh, for example, for five inch, I would definitely would uh, use bigger bigger hook because this uh, hook and this kind of big soft bait is mostly catching big fish and that means I need a stronger hook and stronger and longer hook for example if I'm catching a fish with the teeth so it will be hooked here and have less chances of cutting my leader line that's how it's gonna look like it's gonna be a very simple way of rigging and you have most of that half of the body of the soft bait is working because if you put very long hook here and only this part will be working now the whole body is working which attracts a lot of fish and makes a really nice movement in the water you can the lighter weights you can retrieve them on top or in the mid water just the same way you are playing your metal jig or you can uh, keep playing it uh, all the way to the bottom so on the bottom of the water it will be doing this kind of actions once it's stopped it's doing this kind of actions then it goes again up again up and then falls down making the movements will attract big fish with its bigger size and you have a chance of catching kings, barracudas, big groupers or big emperors on this kind of uh, jig heads. And let's move to our next uh, type of jig heads, which are very specific jig heads. And they are called pelagic hunter for uh, hunting a really big fish. And now we're going to talk about our last type of jig heads which are uh, called the uh, pelagic hunter they come in uh, five sizes 10 gram 21 gram 33 40 and 50 gram uh, this uh, jig heads were specifically designed for hunting uh, any type of pelagic fish queen fish barracuda kingfish uh, king mackerel as we said and even mahis rainbow runner different type of fish that you can catch mostly on the top or the mid waters and as you can see if we take the biggest previous uh, die hard jig our pelagic hunter is much more bigger it comes with a very big hook and it comes with vmc hooks and this specifically made so you can hook the fish and it's very long ones and you use a very big five inch soft baits on this uh, jig head uh, like for example this is called vibro fat which has a it's a paddle tail type of uh, soft bait which swims like a bait fish it comes in a very different colors the paddle big paddle makes uh, nice movements and nice action inside the water and what you do you usually cast and retrieve them on the top or in the mid water like you retrieve the lures or you can play them uh, as a jig for example the bigger 50 40 grams i would use them from the boat in fujira when you're hunting mahis or rainbow runners and the smaller ones are uh, good for sure, which are 10 gram, 21 gram, and 36 gram, uh, 33 gram, sorry. And uh, these jig heads are perfect and caught different type of kings and queens before. And they're working perfectly. The single hook makes a nice uh, hook up especially for queenfish because as you know the queenfish you know it's not good to use a treble hook on queenfish because of the big mouth and they tend to spit the treble hooks 
So the single uh, hook exactly makes the perfect uh, hookup on a queenfish. At the same time on a big golden trivalis. And on the fast retrieves, on, on the jigging methods, for example, you, you jig it as the normal, uh, as you would jig the metal jig. You make similar actions, any type of drastic movements, anything that, you know, looks like a bait fish. And I'm sure if there is a fish, it will definitely bite and you will get a nice hook up on this soft baits. So that's what I wanted to explain in this video. So we went through the different uh, types of soft baits, which are from light, ultra light, goes to the light and heavy types of uh, soft baiting. Soft bait is a very effective method, specifically, for example, uh, starting from the from March, uh, when the lures stop working, and we have only two options, which is metal jig or uh, soft bait. And soft bait uh, tends to show more better results. And uh, I wanted to make this video so you guys prepared for uh, start of the fishing with soft baits and to understand what kind of soft baits and with what kind of jig heads to use this is our own production of jig heads there is a, a lot of different type of and uh, we have different types of other uh, jig heads that are made by other companies uh, starting up to from one gram up to <coughs> 120 gram and uh, I hope you liked it and if you have any additional comments you can uh, ask please and we will try to reply and uh, the retrieval method uh, for the this kind of soft baits I have a additional video for that which already posted uh, long time ago and I want you just uh, click on the link here probably somewhere it will appear on the screen and you can go and check how to use different uh, retrieval methods for fishing with soft baits. Thank you very much and stay tuned.